Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's go ahead and add 5, 6, and 1 fourth. If you will notice, we do not have a common denominator because we have a 6 and a 4. So step one is we need to find a common denominator. There's a couple ways you can do it, but one way is we can just write out the factors. We have 6, 12, 18, then we have 4, 8, 12, and you'll notice we have a common denominator, lowest common denominator of 12. So now we're going to rename these fractions by first dividing 12 by the denominator and then multiplying that number by the numerator and the denominator. Here's what I mean. Okay, 6 goes into 12 two times. Okay, so I will multiply the denominator by 2 and the numerator by 2. And then 4 goes into 12 three times. So I will multiply 4 times 3 and 1 times 3. So let's ne rename these fractions. 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 2 is 12. And then we're going to add that to Excuse me, I, miss, I wrote this wrong. It should be 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. Now we have a common denominator, so we're going to keep that, and then we just add 10 plus 3, and that equals 13 twelfths. If you would like, we can divide 13 by 12 to get a mixed number. 12 goes into 13 one time. 1 times 12 is 12. Oops, I should write this right here. Bring down 1, and so that gives us 1 and 1 twelfths. Okay, so if you add 5, 6, and 1 fourth, it's either the improper fraction 13 twelfths or the mixed number 1 and 1 twelfth. I hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching.